It's been called the silent thief, PCOS, or polycystic ovarian syndrome. It affects up to 5 million women in this country. In many cases so severe, it robs them of their femininity and fertility. The first traces often appear in the teen years. We see a lot of referrals uh, for teenage girls who have problems with their menstruation, problems with their uh, mood, problems with their self-esteem issues that are linked to this particular syndrome. PCOS is marked by a hormonal imbalance that causes high testosterone levels. Dr. Casey Jahami is a pediatric endocrinologist with Golisano Children's Hospital. There's a spectrum of PCOS. There's a severe, there's a mild, there's a moderate. A girl who has high testosterone and yet asymptomatic. Or you can have a girl that does not menstruate on a monthly basis. Outward signs of PCOS are acne, weight gain, excessive hair on face, chest, or back, irregular periods, depression, and infertility. When these symptoms are present, doctors will check hormone levels. Patients may also undergo an ultrasound to check for cysts in the ovaries. Once other issues are ruled out, the diagnosis is made. Treatment is mostly a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. There's a very strong link between insulin and testosterone. And if you have a young woman who has high insulin, you cannot address the high testosterone unless you address the high insulin. While there is no cure for PCOS, the condition can be well managed restoring fertility and bringing back the feminine feel. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher. Males, you know, in general, when it comes to fertility, for example, boys